everyone so as you know we are moving with the module number 6 that is self development and assessment in the previous video of module 6 we have covered eight topics that means read how you have to learn to develop yourself prioritize persist grow etc this topic we have covered today we are going to start a new topic that is remember of the same module number 6 that is self development and assessment remember what you read what you learned and what you saw remember so that you can apply why you have to remember because you have you can apply in the real world here the remember word can be seen with the deeper perspective there are various ways how one thing that what is remember for example you promise one of your client to get back to him with a solution and you forgot to call him it would be the biggest mistake that you would do to harm your image at the workplace when you commit something to the client you have to remember that remember also means to stay committed you have to be committed in the workplace in our daily lives we have to take care of so many things that we don't remember to do what we are supposed to do a person walks one step ahead every day towards his goal only if he remembers it all the time we are all lost and to our small daily activities that we don't remember that there are things which are of more priority in fact if you have set your priorities well you will not forget them a person who remembers is always needed by others in today's world remember this sentence if you remember well you are needed by the market if you are the person who can remember the interest and the concerns of others you will be remembered by everyone around you be it your home or the office so this tag remember to remember you have to be remember you have to remember something so that you remembered by others learn a lot remember it so that you can put it into the practice also remember your commitments when you are working in in the organization when we are in the workplace you have to be committed and that you have to remember remember your dreams also goal at the time remember things about the others it is good people skill you remember about a thing because that is priority for you remember what you read learn and so this is all about the remember topic next topic we will cover is the assess assess means assessment of yourself assessment is very important to see your progress why it is important because it shows your progress where you reach where you are in your goal we must assess from time to time everything that we do and find out whether we are here heading in the right direction or not sometimes you are growing but you are growing in the wrong direction and that you don't know so you are moving in the right direction that also you have to assess assessment can always be done with a goal as a reference assessment provides insight on whether whatever we are doing in the, is correct or not in or it is correct and it is right direction or not self assessment helps in finding out whether have we reached what whether what we did worked for us how much we have changed and how much will it take to reach our goal it needs to be done continuously with the progress of change that you are striving to be about self assessment gives motivation to when we look back and analyze what we have become now we feel motivated to do even more it is also required to change the course of our action if something don't work for us sometimes assessment is self may lead to low self esteem if you are not moving in the right direction if you are not progressing and you assess yourself you will move to the low self esteem but you have to learn from that also and you have to change the direction you have to go to the right direction but but it helps only when you assess yourself assessment is the way of changing whether the goal are met or not it is a strong tool of motivation as it conforms your self concept self assessment sometimes turn out to the low self esteem destroyed if your self concept is completely different from the result of your self assessment but take it positive it can be used to a strong tool of self development so you have to assess yourself whether you are moving in the wrong direction you can be motivated from that also this is all about the self assessment next 
is the thing. Concentrate all your thoughts upon the work in hand. The sun's rays do not burn until it brought to the focus. A nice line given by the Graham Bell that you have to concentrate all on your thoughts and the work in hand. Thinking in itself has the many perspective. Also, different people think different about the thinking. We have to heard many things like don't think much or thinking is the waste of time. Just act and then think before you speak. So let's examine this different perspective. Firstly, thinking about a thing in a sense of brooding over the or worrying is actually not helpful. It leads to overthinking, which is the wastage of time and nothing productive happens over it. When you think or when you overthink, there is nothing productive happens out of it. Secondly, if only keep on thinking and don't do anything about it, then we end up with nothing. Here thinking becomes a passive act without any implementation. Then we end up doing nothing. So what kind of thinking is good? When we say think before you speak is important because it helps us to analyze some situations and give the objective reply. It helps us to respond rather than react. Very much very important line then Think before you speak helps us to respond rather than react. There is a large difference between the response and the react. React is giving the response or the reply without any thinking or without a deep thinking. And the response is giving the reply after some your conclusion. Think here also means to ponder on every new thoughts or the situation we come across so that we can learn and apply something from that. Moreover, it is important to keep our thoughts focused on our goals and that is what will make us successful. Most importantly, think is the starting point of any action. You have to start any action before that you have to think about it. Any innovations or the creation was first created in the mind of the creators. Hence, thinking is important which involves a critical analysis and provides objective and implementation solution. Think so, think to understand, think and act, thought without action are useless. Think about what you learn new and try to implement a knowledge without giving it a proper thought and action is merely a storage of data. Think to develop the new ideas. Everything in this world has happened twice, first in the mind and then in reality. Keep your thoughts constantly focused on the goal rather than thinking in opposite direction. This is the key to reach a goal. So you have to think for the, have the self-assessment. Next is the communicate. Nothing can be accomplished without the communication. This we have heard. It is very much important. Your self-development is incomplete without developing your communication. In order to sharpen your communication skills, you must communicate. You, only you can develop your communication skill for that you have to communicate. Mastering communication skill is a matter of practice. Not only that, communication also helps in your overall development. When you communicate on different issues with the different persons, you come across a lot of new information. In a way, it helps in two ways. Where it helps in you two ways. Sharpen your communication skills and enhance your knowledge. As far as self-development and the growth is concerned, how you communicate with yourself is also important. Yes, you have to communicate to yourself. This we have discussed in the levels that intrapersonal communication, when the communication is within the person and it is known as intrapersonal communication and this will help you for the self-development. Most of the people suffer from the low self-confidence because of the wrong self-talk. What you tell yourself or in other words, what you think about yourself has a great influence on whether you can always remain in the high spirit or not. And that will decide whether you can perform to your full potential or not. So communicate to express, you have to express your ideas in the organization. For that you have to communicate, communicate to make things happen. Communicate your concerns, communicate your ideas. Communicate to obtain the knowledge from others. So for all this, you have to communicate. Communicate for the self-development. Communicate for the self-assessment. Next topic is relate. 
when you read or experience something but if you are not able to relate it to your yourself then it will not remain for the longer time in your mind also you will not be able to apply any learning from it so whatever you read whatever you learn whatever you listen experience must be related to yourself or your situation or any or any other thoughts which will help you to remember throughout and you will be able to apply that the right time relating knowledge ideas thoughts experience and observation helps in developing the new ideas it helps in critical thinking which requires a lot of seeking and questioning also when we relate different aspects we can come up with a completely new idea which leads to creativity when we relate we look at the complete complete aspects and it helps to coexist with our environment rather than living in the isolation thus relate what you read as we have discussed relate what you learn experience and observe relate your goals with the goals of your environment to coexist with it relate different ideas to be able to understand the full aspects of anything rather than looking from the one perspective so you have to relate your work your progress with the existing ideas existing environment and the last topic is dream if you can dream it you can do it a good line given by the walt disney to move with your ideas to move into your goal you have to dream it first your lives are built when you learn to build your dreams your dreams act as a guiding path toward the destination a dream written down with a deed becomes a goal listen properly a dream written down with a deed becomes your goal a goal broken down into the steps becomes a plan a plan backed by the action make your dreams come true you have to follow many paths to make your dream comes true many people say that they don't know what are their dreams actually every human being has a unique talent and they can do wonders with those talent sometimes if we don't have dreams and goals we must start something that interests us and keep us on going there will be something for which you will start feeling proud of and before you realize it becomes your dream to have a dream or a goal in the life is very important otherwise you will never know whether to go you don't know where you are going for that you have to dream so these are the 14 topics that needs to be keep in mind for the self development the assessment dream learn read prioritize record assessment grow growth and there are various lines given by the various scientists and you have to follow this for the self development the assessment yes nowadays you have, there are crowd there are crowd for the jobs for the survival and you have to be separate from that what helps you personal development personal development separates you from the crowd this is all about the module number 6 that is self development and assessment the next module we are going to start is the module number 2 technical writing so from the next video we are moving with the module number 2 thank you